Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Indonesian Minister of Education, Culture, Research and Technology, I would like to convey our full support of the working group's proposal and also our gratitude to those who have worked so hard to formulate the proposal. Allow me to share some initiatives from Indonesia related to SDG4 goals. In Indonesia, our ministry is embarking upon a comprehensive reform called Merdeka Belajar, or Emancipated Learning. This reform aims at developing students to become lifelong learners, as well as democratic and productive citizens of Indonesia and of the world. This means creating learning environments that are safe, fair, and inclusive, and learning environments which cultivate foundational competencies such as critical thinking, collaboration, and self-regulated learning, as well as attitudes and values such as openness, tolerance, support for civic rights, and support for gender equity. At the system level, we have restructured education funding so that schools in rural and remote areas receive more per student than those in urban areas. We will also change how schools are evaluated and accredited. In the near future, school leaders and district governments will be evaluated based on how well they manage to close the gaps, not only in terms of access, but on also in terms of learning outcomes between genders, between socioeconomic class, classes, and between rural and urban areas. The COVID-19 pandemic has obviously complicated our reform efforts in Indonesia. We have had to allocate so much resources to keep students and teachers safe and to mitigate against potential learning losses. Within the past year, our ministry has provided internet data for millions of students and teachers, simplified our national curriculum to focus on core competencies and created teaching modules and audiovisual materials to assist distance learning. Despite these challenges, <laughs> Indonesia is committed to accelerate progress towards achieving the SDG4 goals. Indeed, the COVID-19 pandemic underlines the importance of addressing educational inequalities. The global pandemic also accentuates the importance of cooperation and collaboration between all stakeholders and also internationally. Thank you very much for your kind attention.